wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Listen on Radio 1. Watch if you want on Facebook Live. This is Tom Kerridge, Innuendo Bingo. And he's in the massive suit from 2012 <laughs> when it fits him like a glove. Yeah. Like, oh my God, you can literally pull the trousers up to your chin. That's ridiculous. Oh, oh that. no, don't no, do no, that. No, no, you don't. <laughs> I, I think it looks quite good, though. I think it, it's like, I don't know, it's sort of... A new style it's a for little, you. It's a, it's a little bit gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I yeah. should, we should be. I should be on Radio One Extra. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can pop by on the way yeah. out. <laughs> Soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a change of clothes or just that? No, I'm just hanging in this all sure. day long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's time for In Your Bingo with Tom Carriage. Get involved. First, we're going to Water Please. Okay. BBC yeah. Radio Four, and it's a show called Making the Grade. It's a programme all about taking your music exams. Now, as we all know, exams are terrifying. So I think this is probably just what you need to do and relax before you go in. Gordon ushers us into the waiting room where people sit, tense, practising their fingering. (laughs) (laughs) Just before the exam, what's happened there? I forgot how wet this gets with Tom. (laughs) Tom just finds all of them funny. Where people sit, tense, practising their fingering. Making the grade there on Radio 4. (laughs) (laughs) Look at him, he's back. He loves it. Loves it so much. Okay. (laughs) More water, please. And now we're going over to... Oh, it's Radio 4 again. And their afternoon play called The Mustard Car. Now, I don't know about you, Tom, but... um, I always thought that Radio 4 was quite highbrow. Mm. But this is vulgar, and it's in the afternoon as well. We walked back to the fate, where Tom had just knocked down ten skittles. Let's go and smash the rat, I said, taking his hand. (laughs) (laughs) The classic fairground game, Smash the Rat, of course. I've never heard of it. I I think I've got to listen to Radio 4 more. Mm. Let's go and smash the rat. (laughs) What is that game? Right, now we're going over to Come Dine With Me on Channel 4. Now Giselle is making island soup. What's that? Any idea, Tom? Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you she's about to add the vegetables and an extra special ingredient. Is this from one of your cookbooks, Tom? If my guests have tasted cock before, they would definitely be able to taste it in the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Straight over Tom's hairless head. <laughs> Special ingredient there from oh. Come Dine With Me. If my guests have tasted cock before... <laughs> and they'll definitely taste it in the soup. Yes. <laughs> why, why? I think that's what she said. If my guests have tasted cock before, they would definitely be able to taste it in the soup. Yeah, you can oh, taste lovely. it in the soup, yeah. That's lovely. Oh mm-hmm. Yum. <laughs> Water, please. <laughs> that's what you what want to read on the menu. I know. Honestly, Put that the in next, the next one. Next book. Mm-hmm. Now an absolute <laughs> classic. <laughs> Can you just imagine you doing that show, that cookery show? Oh, yeah. mate. So good. Mm. I've, I'm not. Mm. An absolute classic <laughs> now from the archives. It's Vanessa Feltz on BBC Radio 2. We join Vanessa after she's just bumped into... Voice of the National Lottery, Alan Dedicote. All I can say is, well, just thank God it's radio. Golden, it's six minutes past six and a glorious moment for me. Mr Dedicote came in to say hello. You know I love Alan Dedicote and I don't get to see enough of him and I've just seen him and had a bit of a cuddle and shown him just a little bit of my (laughs) cha-cha-cha. Let's not forget that Vanessa was on Strictly Come Dancing. And I, so it, it was only a little bit, though. Just a little bit. And showed him just a little bit of my cha-cha-cha. And Alan would have loved that. <laughs> would you know, do Alan? Strictly? No. God, really? No. Well, please, with your like, new slimline self. Yeah. No, honestly, I think I, you'll be on. I'm not really into competitions that I can't win. It's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it would be a wasted two weeks of my time. <laughs> nah, you, you're, you're very on. popular. You'd yeah. be on for ages. Oh, you'll, you'll be on. Although I'd be quite into wearing a sequin suit. I'm oh, Tom, it's so good. <laughs> do it, do it. Even if you're rubbish, it's still fun. Yeah. <laughs> Believe. Now it's, now it's the chase on ITV. We always say on the multiple choice answers on the chase that the answer is never C. 
And this is the exception to the rule, I think, apart from this question. Uh, Jeanette, for seven grand, the chase is on. Good luck. Here comes your first question. Which of these is a crustacean regarded as a delicacy in eastern China? A, hairy crab. B, a fairy clap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you serve that up, Tom? <laughs> a, hairy crab. B, a fairy clap. The answer, <laughs> the answer is C. Yeah. For a change. How did Bradley Walsh not laugh doing that? Uh, I think, he's, uh, I I think mean, he was. We love it. <laughs> now we're going back to BBC Radio 4. <laughs> <laughs> and the continuity announcer. He's the man. Boards, <laughs> please. He's the man telling us what's coming up later on Radio 4. Then in front row at 7.15, the BAFTA-nominated Dev Patel discusses his role in the film Lion. The sports writer Alison Rudd reviews Tina and Bobby, a new three-part ITV drama series based on the life of the football legend Bobby Moore. And why the 1980s vocal harmony group Harvey and the Ballwangers... Uh, ball <laughs> Great one! <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to do. <laughs> Harvey and the Ballwangers. Uh, Ballwangers. <laughs> I think it's a bit where he goes, oop. <laughs> <laughs> oop. I've oop. never heard of that. Harvey and the Ballwangers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a good one. It always is with you, Carriage. It's a bit like when you're in that restaurant, Scott, you know, for our Christmas party. Oh, don't. Tell Tom that one. Yeah, go on, Scott. Well, I wanted to order the... <laughs> the hang duck on. liver Duck pate. liver pate. Yeah. That's not what I said. What did you say? Well, I ch the Change second the word was lover. Yeah. And the first word... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and my dad was there. <laughs> Awful. And what did they bring out? Just... Pate. Duck. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> pate. <laughs> Thanks for that, Chris. Quite difficult to navigate that. <laughs> Right, now we're, going, now we're going to BBC Radio Leicester and Ian has called into the show. Now, if Ian's making this noise when doing this, then I would probably get it checked out. I was moving and I went into her and, and then okay. you're looking at whiplash trains and all sorts of things. Ian, really thank you. On. It's it's wise advice and it's um it's you know goodness oh I hope you're all right there in. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. That's all my all my load going over in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what a commotion. <laughs> yes, sorry. That's all my, all my load going over in the back. Concentrate on the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about them phone-ins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on Radio Leicester. <laughs> now we have a very interesting lot up for auction on BBC Two's Bargain Hunt. However, only now is it becoming clear to the auctioneer what this item really is. Interesting this one. It's uh, a 19th century, uh, the Hallmark Silver. We've catalogued it as a moustache brush, but I'm sure you're all aware it's a lady's muff brush. <laughs> <laughs> he loves this game so much. <laughs> Tom Carriage, you ledge. Thank you so much for coming in today.